Welcome to how to create spot color separations using the GMG color plugin. My name is Kevin Rowe. I'm the technical solutions manager for GMG Americas. In the next 10 minutes or so, you're going to learn how to create multi channel separations as well as get a color accurate, soft proof preview with those multi channel separations. GMG Channel Changer is a tool that can separate images from anywhere from one to four colors. Packaging prepress companies usually split images into several areas. Each area is separated with as less inks as possible, so usually one to three inks are used inside one area. In dark areas, sometimes four inks are used. To avoid moiré, it's not allowed to print two inks with the same screening angle. There are four screening angles available. One of these angles can only be used for light inks, for example yellow. So separations should only use up to three inks. In packaging, it's not common to use a single RGB to six channel profile to separate images with only one profile, because this will again require a cleaning of the unwanted separations. In this sample for splitting an image into areas for separations, the dark cupcake area and the chocolates will be converted to cyan, magenta, yellow, and Pantone 469. The cups themselves will be converted to Pantone 301 and 248. The shadow areas will be converted simply to Pantone 469 by itself, and the light cupcake will be converted to magenta, yellow, and Pantone 469. This sample shows how to separate an image from CMYK to six channels. The user has to create masks or selections before applying the profiles. However, this feature is using open color technology for the prediction of the characterization. On top of that, the separation is calculated. This will ensure a high level of color consistency during the conversion. The conventional way of creating the six color separation would be with channel mixer and manually editing the curves, usually taking anywhere from one to two hours. Additionally, hard copy proofs are typically output to see the final print result. Rounds and rounds of proofing, hours and hours of time. So what I'm about to show you is how to convert this four color image into six channels while still maintaining the CMYK look. Additionally, Photoshop does not have an accurate preview for spot colors overprinting each other. So instead of making proof after proof, I'll show you how to get an accurate soft proof preview using the open color preview. Before I can convert images in Photoshop, I need an open color project that describes where the image will be printed. In this case, it will be printed on an offset press with a dispersion gloss varnish on a coated media. We'll use CMY plus three Pantone colors. Once I've defined my print process, we need to calculate a profile that describes this condition. Let's move to the separation tab. We'll choose our print condition and define our ink settings. I want to make sure I enter the maximum number of overprints my total area coverage, I want to be sure to choose my screening types and which grids they're going to be on, which angles are going to be shared, as well as the usage. So for example, the Pantone 469 is going to be uh, a, the contrast separation. To make this available for Photoshop, I'm going to publish it and save it. A lot of customers send me images tagged with ISO coded. So in order for me to be able to do an a soft proof preview using open color. I'm going to open my ISO coded project and publish the project. Now we're ready to work on our image. I want to make a soft proof preview using the plugin. So we'll go to extensions, GMG color plugin. I'm going to choose open color preview and I'll pick my ISO coded project. The plugin has created a duplicate of the image in lab and added the extension preview to the file name. This lab image is color accurate and can be saved for future reference.
now we can go back to the original Photoshop file and create our separations. If you wanted to convert just one layer, you would select just that layer. Or you could use the marquee tool, you could use the lasso tool. In my case, I've pre-made my selections for the areas that I want to convert. The first selection I'll choose is the dark brown chocolate areas. This selection will convert into CMY plus Pantone 469. We'll go up to the channel changer extension and choose which separations we want in this portion of the image. In cases where we have more than three separations, we can choose a key color as well as the GCR level. Now what's happening in the background, if we switch to open color, we can take a look at the project and see that a profile is being calculated with Pantone 469 and CMY. This profile is going to convert the file so that it looks as close to ISO coded as it can using those inks. I have three other areas that I need to do separations with. So I'll make my selection of the light chocolate areas and choose 469 plus magenta and yellow. The plugin recognizes that 469 is already part of the image. If you'd like to have this part of the image on a separate plate, you'd choose Rename. If not, choose Merge. The next area that I'd like to separate is the cups. For the cups, we'll choose the two Pantone colors, 301 and 248. And then lastly, we'll convert the shadows to just Pantone 469. Again, it asks me if I want to create a new separation or merge the existing one. Let's take a closer look at the separations after all the conversions have been done. First of all, we'll just turn off CMY as well as the additional spot colors. Just wanted to show you that there's no more black within the entire image after all these conversions. We've completely removed black. If we look at 469, you can see now the dark chocolate and the light cupcake is now has 469 in it. And if we take a look at the cups, the cups are purely Pantone 301 and 248. Also worth noting that the layers are still fully intact, but only for CMYK. You may or may not have noticed that the new separated image, six channel image, is not a great match to the customer's original intent. Earlier we made a soft proof preview for ISO coded. This is what the customer originally intended. And if we take a look at our new six channel separation, it's not a great match. That's because Photoshop doesn't have a really great rendering of images with spot colors in them. So to combat this, we can use open color preview in order to create a soft proof preview of how it's actually going to print. We'll just select our project, cupcake project, choose the separations that are in the project, in this case CMY plus the three Pantone colors. And now we get a color accurate soft proof preview of how the job is actually going to print. If we take a look at the original CMYK image, you may notice some differences. The paper tint, for example. We can't change that because on the new printing condition, we have a new substrate. 
The shadows are slightly different because we're using just one color instead of four. And the cups themselves are a little more saturated because we're using two special Pantone colors. So what I've done in the last five or so minutes is take a four color image and convert it to six colors. What used to take hours of image editing and rounds of proofing has just been reduced to five minutes. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please contact your local GMG team member.